Hey guys, ever since I started a blog and started making money, I am always getting asked, how do I start a blog and make money? So I'm doing this video for you guys and I'm literally going to give you the blueprint on how to start a blog and make money so by the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding on how to get started today. Now I like to be very clear about how this whole blogging thing works and I want to make sure that you guys understand that it takes a while to make money. I only made $5,000 the first year I got started and most bloggers I know, they barely made that. But after a lot of hard work and long nights, I made six figures the very next year. And now I make five figures every single month. Now I never dreamed that I could make this much money ever, especially being a stay at home mom with three kids four and under. But with blogging, it is possible. So I need to ask you, are you willing to put in the work for something you might not see a return on for an entire year or more? If your answer is yes, let's go. steps you need to take when you want to start a blog and make money. The first thing you need to do is choose a niche. Now the only way to make money blogging is by helping people and you need to think of one main reason someone will come to your website. So you should be able to fill in this blank. I help people blank. Mine is I help moms find legitimate ways to make money from home with kids. You see it is very specific. Now I do write about other things on my blog, but that is the main reason someone will come to my website. So you really want to think about this and I just did a video on 18 profitable niches you can choose from that I'll put in the description below so you can check it out after this video. The next thing you need to do is get a domain name. So a domain name is simply the name of your website. Like the domain of my website is triedandtruemomjobs.com. So when you're thinking about what to name your website, you want to make sure it's easy to pronounce and spell, you want to try and make your domain name short if possible. Now I know my domain name is a little long, try it your mom jobs, but if you can try and make it shorter than that, that's even better. You also want to try and be descriptive. So if you can, put, try and put a keyword into your blog name. Like I did mine without even realizing the benefit of it. You see I have mom and jobs in my domain name and I really do believe that that has helped me rank better on Google and it just helps people automatically know what they're gonna find on my website, tried and true mom jobs. But if you're having a hard time putting a keyword in your domain name, don't let that deter you. I mean, look at Forbes. There's no keyword in their domain name and they're huge. Remember, you make the name, so if you can't think of a keyword to put in your domain name, don't let that deter you from going ahead and get started and choosing a name. So I use Namecheap to purchase all my domain names. And I did a step-by-step -step guide on how to do all this stuff. I'm going to put it in the description below so you can check it out and follow it along when you're setting up your blog. Next, you're going to need to get hosting. So hosting is the home of your website. So you know the pictures on your website, the words, all the HTML, CSS stuff that I still don't understand. That needs to live somewhere. It has to be hosted by something. Now there are a ton of hosting sites out there, but I use SiteGround and that is what I recommend. I have a step-by-step -step guide that's going to guide you through all this stuff, so don't worry about all this technical stuff. Now websites like Wix and Squarespace, it seems like they are very easy to use, but I could go on all day about why you should not use those platforms when you're starting a blog and trying to make money. You need to use WordPress. And when I'm talking about WordPress, I'm talking about WordPress.org, the completely 100% free version not wordpress.com, but my guide will walk you through all this stuff so it's gonna start making sense once you get started. The next step is that you're gonna need to choose a theme for your website. Now a theme is a pre-built design that's completely customizable and it gives you structure in how to design your site without having any knowledge of this HTML and CSS stuff and you can make it completely your own. Now these are a couple examples of themes or better known as website templates where you can put all your information in there and just make it your own and it can, looks very professional. Now I'm going to walk you through all of this once again through my guide so don't worry about all of this but this is where the fun begins. The next thing you want to do is to come up with things to write about. Now I recommend writing at least 5 to 10 articles before you're ready to hit publish on your website because when I launched my site I wanted it to look established. I didn't want people coming to my website thinking or knowing that it was a brand new website. 
Now to find content ideas, I always recommend writing content that people can find on Google. Because where is the one place that most people go when they have a question? It's Google. And what do you find when you search for things on Google? It's blog articles. You want your blog articles to show up on Google so you can get consistent traffic to your website since most people are searching for things on Google. Now I have a video that walks through all this stuff and how I write my articles to rank on Google so I'm gonna put those videos in the description as well. Okay, so now that you have a general idea on how to start a blog and create content, the most important part is now how you're gonna make money. Now my favorite part about blogging is that most of the income is passive. Like right now while I'm filming this video, I'm making money. So I'm going to bring my Google Analytics up right here and this is what you'll want to do as well so you'll find out who's on your website and where they came from. But you should be able to see right now my real time visitors. So these are the people who are on my website right now. And because I have ads on my website, I'm making money right now just from people reading my articles. So the first way that you can make money from your blog is through ads. So when someone simply reads one of my articles and passes an ad, that is known as an ad impression and I make money from that. So the more people that you can get to read your articles, the more money you can make. The most that I have ever made in one month from ads has been $8,000. I cannot believe I've ever made that much money in ads, but it happened. Since we're going through a pandemic right now, my ad revenue has decreased significantly and right now I'm around like four to $5,000 per month. So when you're just starting out, most people join the ad network Google AdSense because there are no traffic requirements. Now I'm going to leave applying to them up to you because I have heard that it does slow down your website and when I was with them, I only made $147 for the three months that I was with them. Now I switched to another ad network that I'm still with today, Mediavine, and they pay like five to 10 times more than Google AdSense. When I joined Mediavine, I had to have 25,000 sessions within the last 30 days to my website. So I had to wait till I had enough of traffic to my website in order to even apply to their network, get accepted, and then go through the whole process of them getting ads on my website. They have now upped it to 50,000. So it's gonna take a lot of work to get accepted to Mediavine, but it is so worth it if you can, if that is one of the ways that you wanna make money through your blog. My friends at Dollar Sprout, they took ads off their website and only focused on affiliate marketing, which I'm gonna talk about next. And they make $100,000 per month, guys. So don't think that ads needs to be your main source of income and it's actually what you don't want. You don't want to depend on ads because when the pandemic hit, my ad revenue was severely cut and I would have suffered if that was my only source of income. You definitely want to diversify your income when you're making money from your blog. So the next way you can make money from your blog is through affiliate marketing. And this is how I make the most of my money. Now affiliate marketing is when you refer someone to a product or service using a unique referral link and if they make a purchase through your link, you earn a commission. Now I did a whole step-by-step -step guide on how to get started doing this and how I make money doing this. So I wanna put that video in the description below so you can check it out after this video. The next way you can make money blogging is through sponsorships. So once you start building an audience, companies will pay you to promote their products or services. Sometimes they'll reach out to you or you can actually reach out to them with a proposal of exposure you can get for them for a fee. Now that I get a consistent amount of traffic to my website, I charge $1,000 for a sponsor post. I don't do too many of these because I like recurring revenue better. The next way to make money blogging is through selling your own products. Now a ton of bloggers do this and they make really good money doing this. They sell their digital products in the form of ebooks or courses and they do really well. They use their blog as a platform to promote their products. It just makes so much sense. If you have a product to sell, you should have a blog to support it. All right, so now that you have an understanding of how to make money blogging, let's talk about how you're gonna get traffic to your website so you can actually make some money. Now, I get the bulk of my traffic from Google and Pinterest. So as a new blogger, I recommend to learn how to get your articles to rank on Google, which I have a whole series on teaching you how to do this on this channel. And I'm gonna put those videos in the description below so you can check those out. And I also recommend that you use Pinterest as a way to boost your traffic as well. I have literally tried all the different ways to get traffic to my website, and these seem to be the only two platforms where I can get consistent, massive traffic to my website, where I get over 200,000 pages per month to my website. 
So I hope this made sense and don't forget to check out my free guide to walk you through all this stuff so it can actually make sense. And I'm going to put that in the description below. And I'm also going to do a video on the steps I took to get to six figures. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you do get notified when I post that video. Now if you're going to start a blog, i love it if you give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comment section to say if you're ready. All you have to say in the comment section is I'm ready. Alright, thank you guys for watching and you can check out the video right now on how to find a profitable niche.